Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I am going to show you how I make a gate maker. Now, this little video to begin with, I'm going to introduce you to the tools and materials that I use to make a gate maker. First and foremost is cardboard. This is just standard cardboard. I buy my boxes at um, the U-Haul um, here in America, but you can get them in many places throughout the world. Moving boxes are generally good enough. This is just plain uh, run-of-the-mill corrugated cardboard. It's about four millimeters thick. And I also use chipboard. It's about one and a half millimeters thick. Um, this is a good sturdy board that uh, has density and uh, and width. Yeah. This then is a card. This is about three quarters of a millimeter thick. I use this for facing, making a nice finish on things before you paint. Okay, those are the basic materials. I also use a little bit of felt, in this case black felt, I have various colors of felt. Uh, this is for the, the feet on the bottom of the gate maker and for the little spacers between the lid and the, the body of the gate maker. Um, I also, of course, use X-Acto knife and X-Acto blades, number two exacto blades which I buy by the box of hundred you go through quite a few um, exacto blades then I have the little famous pokey tool um, getting these you know uh, these are fairly common in the United States um, you can often find them in ceramics um, you know, ceramics kits for children will often have a little pokey tool. It needs to have a very fine point and be sturdy. Okay, and for the gate maker, I use pliers and wire cutters. Okay, and rulers. These are your best friends. I uh, have a variety of rulers, uh, different sizes, but for the gate maker, I mostly use the uh, foot long ruler and the six inch ruler uh, but I also have a 24 inch ruler or a yardstick will work as well I prefer metal rulers because I'm going to be cutting uh, along these are going to be my guides for cutting straight lines and you don't want a ruler that's going to um, you know you're going to cut into so no plastic or wooden rulers scissors a uh, pair of hefty scissors because we're going to be cutting a lot of, uh, mostly for cutting chipboard and for cutting the card. Um, and a little bit of paper. I never cut cardboard with scissors uh, because it damages the cardboard too much. Then I have a couple of right angles. You need these for um, doing several layers, uh, building up several layers of a thing. You want to have the edges flush to each other, so this helps a lot in establishing flush edges. And you will need a compass. Good quality compass is best. Um, and a variety of brushes for painting and gluing. Uh, and a pencil. You might go through several pencils. A uh, pencil and a good pencil sharpener. Okay, then a jar for glue. This is um, a jar that I'll often mix water with and thin the glue down for um, applying uh, s surfaces, etc. And of course, Elmer's glue all. I buy the stuff by the gallon. Um, you'll need a lot of Elmer's glue all. Um, gold paint, black paint, and a matte varnish. These are the things that I uh, coat the, the gate maker with. Okay, and need 10, um, in this case these are 20 millimeter, um, you can go as high as an inch diameter, um, quartz, water clear 
quartz spheres. Okay. And then wire, copper wire, sterling silver wire, and uh, 14 karat gold filled wire. So co copper, silver, and gold wire. Okay, then the last material that I use is I print out several things. These are the decorative path strips that I print out on a heavy cardstock, 110 pound cardstock. Uh, and then these are um, sephirotic um, circles basically for uh, decorating the top of the lid for the game maker. And these are um, cutouts for, I put these in the holes where the um, the crystals go. They, these go on the bottom of those holes that the crystals are going to fit into so that the color reflects out through the crystals. These are the discs, the decorative discs um, that go on the face of the gate maker, uh, part of the decorative design that go along with the path strips. Um, and this is the most important of all in making the gate maker. It's my template, which has all my measurements and all the places I have to make little holes on the face and, you know, the uh, measurements for cutting the sides uh, for the box, etc. Um, I will um, put all of these files in PDF format on uh, on the YouTube page. There'll be a link to these files. Okay. So what I do to begin is well, I make sure I have crystals and wire and sufficient cardboard, etc enough paint, enough glue, and then I print out this stuff first. That is the very first step in making a gate maker is the printout. And I'll show you what I do with those in the next video.